Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna make another showpiece for this channel. So without any further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so let's begin with this white cardboard circle. And if you don't have white cardboard then you can just take any normal cardboard and cover it with white paper and then I'll just cut this part from this side and glue it a little slightly on this top so doing this I will get a little bit slanting cone shape and then after I'm done with that I'll take a cardboard stripe and I'll make a ring out of it and then I'll just use my glue and stick it on the bottom side of the same cardboard so once it's done, now what I'll do is that I'll take another piece of white cardboard as you can see and I'll just fold it into a cup shape. So this way and then I'll just stick it and once that is done, now let's make the handle for the cup. So of course I'm using another piece of white cardboard stripe and I'll just give the shape I want it to be. And then I'll stick it over here on the side of the cup and then I'll just stick these white foam sheet stripes over here just for this design okay so once that is done now this is another piece of white cardboard circle and I'll just make a hole in the middle and then I'll just put this on the cup So now once that is done, I'll stick the cup to the plate over here. Alright, so once that is done, now I'll take newspaper and I'll crush it. And then I'll just use my hot glue gun and stick the excess newspaper. So after doing that, I'll take a bowl and some tissue papers and then in the bowl I'll just take a little amount of water and glue then I'll just mix it well using my brush okay so once it's nice and combined now I'll take my newspaper crushed ball and I'll start applying this paste on top of it then I'll take one dish paper piece and I'll just stick this like this on this. Okay, so once it's nice and covered, I'll just keep it to get dried for 24 hours minimum. And then after it's dried, I'll just take a sandpaper and I'll scrub off the edges. So after doing that, as you can see, the ball is nice and smooth. Now I'll take two craft wires over here. And now I'll take a newspaper and I'll just fold it on top of the craft wires. And then again, I'll just use my glue and just take the edges. Now I'll use my fingers and I'll give the shape I want it to be. And now once that is done, I'll just stick this in the hole of the crushed ball I made. This way. Then I'll just stick the other part on the cup. Now I'll take some tiny pebbles, um, some tiny rocks you can see and I'll just stick it over here on the base of the cup and it's because it will give much more weight over here to hold the ball and you can use any other stones if you like so I was just using the tiniest one 
so that it can just give the weight over here which I want it to be. Then I'll start painting this, these all tiny stones into white acrylic paint and you can use fabric paints instead. Then I'll just paint the complete thing with white color though it's already white but I want it to be more shinier. So that's why I'm painting it into white acrylic paint. So this is what it looks like after it gets painted. Now I'll take some red colored paper and it's a red shiny paper over here. Now I'll just cut this circle first. start cutting these lines over here just going and making this swirl then I'll just give this flower shape over here on the petals over here as you can see this is what it looks right like now now I'll just take one end over here and I'll start folding it so it's the easiest way you can make a beautiful rose so you just have to fold it and once you reach the other end what you have to do is that you have to take some hot glue gun stick it over here and then leave the flower and stick it over here so this is how I made more of them now I'll take this green paper and I'll just make a zigzag over here so it's basically card paper stripe then I'll just cut a leaf out of it so doing this will just help it to enhance more so once that is done now I'll just start sticking these roses onto the circle and some roses over here as well then I'll start sticking these leaves some leaves on the top as well so now I'll take my tweezers and I'll start sticking these white pearl beads over here onto the ball and some tiny wee pearl beads over here on the base as well I'll just scatter them in these places now I've taken some red pearl beads and I'll start sticking them also over here and don't worry if you don't find these red pearl beads you can just paint the white ones into this red color and that will be it. So this is the final video guys this is what my showpiece looked like and to be honest it was very beautiful when I placed it on my living area table. So this was really beautiful guys. I love this idea. If you also like this, please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. Till next time, bye bye.